Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here and happy Throwback Thursday and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review and today which is on the Boss Isley Cantina from 2003-4, somewhere around there. So on the front of the instruction booklet, you see Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and the hand holding hands holding lightsaber kind of thing. And yeah, they did time and picture of everything around Tatooine and see set number 4501 Mos Eisley Cantina and also the blue border that all the sets of 2003 and 4 all had. <clears throat> An interesting thing with this one is that they had two different uh, decoration styles of the covers like this version in, but then the following year they also did a version of it with the like all around kind of border saying original trilogy edition and of course everything else. and on the back is this older x-wing and also saying lego.com and after the online survey and after an x-wing flying from one of the like tie fighters and all and then the last steps First of which is the older Luke Skywalker. And as the prints, like leg print, everything. About the same as from the like 1999 Land Speeder one. But quite alright figure. See, no back torso prints because of course it's an older figure and all. Next to which is Ben Kenobi, or otherwise old Obi Wan Kenobi. Well, the torso print and all, all quite the same as also from the 99 Land Speeder, but also no back torso print, unless if, like the recent 20th anniversary one where it did have the 20 years logo on the back. But besides that, a quite good figure, did quite good for the time. And next to which is Han Solo, which also about the same as the other ones, like in the 2000 Millennium Falcon, but with dark legs rather than bright blue. And also no back towards print or double side face. But of course, same hair piece that they've used for a long time, and also has the megaphone, but without a stud on it. To be his blaster that they did a lot. And next to it is a like a sand trooper, snow tr storm trooper. Uh, the torso prints of which quite the same as from a lot of earlier sets and also does have the orange paw print also shown a lot. Also in the like uh, 2007 drop ship, yeah. Also the 2003 Ewok village, of course. Or no, no, Ewok attack, sorry. Same with the helmet piece. Also, plain yellow head. Although, although in some of which it was black, and this is what Lego should use all the time instead of the annoying clone face, of course. And from the back, does have holding a pair of lightsaber hilts for whatever reason. And it also barely has back printing. Also, you do get this large uh, staff, which is just lightsaber hilt with a couple of antennas. And last but not least, of who stayed exclusive to this, Greedo. And of course, who stayed exclusive to just this one set until the uh, remake versions in 2018, in 2014 and 18. But his front torso print does look good, and also the headpiece also good, but also so used in some of those older sets. And side arm printing, which stayed exclusive to him for many years, until with Cloud City, Boba Fett, and everything. And no back torso print because it's an older figure, but 
But what's kind of disappointing is that the like 2014-18 version didn't have that arm printing, which makes them kind of a bit rare and all. And first of which is the old style do back. Oh, it does quite represent its in movie appearance. But of course, it does have some of those same pieces from the like 2001 uh, dinosaur line, which also used with elephant in adventures, and also the 2005 boga. So I think this what got the inspiration for that. And also, like the 2005 boga is has the like specific headpiece, which does have a pair of studs for eyes, and a pair of studs above. At least until with the 2014 version, where it did quite a bit better, and tail of which, which they didn't make, didn't want to make very long, just using via Technic pin and tail tip part. But then the saddle part of it, which is few bricks on it, and has a couple of backpack pieces sitting on it. And just about enough space to fit your stormtrooper main fig on to. Although what's a little upsetting is the rain part, which can kind of block the heavy thing, even though it can work quite well. Okay, and next to which is the uh, Landspeeder, of which this is which the second version of the Landspeeder since the original 1999 version. And what's kind of different with that with this is it has a lot of sand red to it, which of course, it isn't very common, but also can like, but also sand red and dark red. So this kind of makes as a good parts pack of sand red. You see, this which was the first one that used the like, like odd tubing for its greeples. It does cover and roll quite well since it has those pieces underneath. As the movement over is have these like little jet thing turbine things acting as its kinds. <laughs> Pardon. You know, a few of those like grill vent pieces above, and also the older style windshield piece used quite effectively. And what's kind of odd is. Uh, it's, there's a regular steering wheel right here, although they could have used a pair of levers. And, and for this back part of it, which is on a pair of hinges, they can tilt up, and it's a little hidden place to fit both these like scope binocular things and also Luke's lightsaber. And well, just enough space to fit your. Luke Skywalker and Obi Wan things into it. And as for a little comparison with this most recent version from 2017, unlike with the recent 2020 version, because just didn't want to bother getting it or anything. But, yeah. but as you can see, the like tube effect still going, and of course has a. a odd tan color and one had sand red and also did have the steering wheel effect of course but also had the curved windshield which this older one didn't and of course same kind of effect but multiple pieces rather than a single piece also has some snot used with these slopes rather than just nothing. But at least, you know, it's a 10 15 year difference. Unlike with that, the recent 2020 version, which did take it all a little bit different. 
And I guess that is it for that. And lastly, is the cantina itself, which is quite a small, dinkish build. So I like curved panels, and also good use of those being used with the plates, of course. And also those like odd column kind of bricks. So use as for some good effect. But also, it can also use open these two up and makes it more open and spacious. Of course, it has a little archway, which most buildings on Tatooine have. And above of which are the like uh, Technic ball joint pieces, but in tan, which is quite nice for blocking. And also, get this little stamp. Like, get a clear uh, round brick and a coffee cup representing the bar, or the, or the bar that many stand on. But also that one that looks at Luke and says, I don't like you, he don't like you either. And also you get this main seating area, where you can like get that up and a little spot to store stuff in. And also get a clear, clear yellow brick. Representing probably a light to it. And you can like fit both your Greedo and Han Solo when you fix in onto it. And of course, representing to when Han says, Yes, I bet you have, and then shoots at it. Or if in later versions, where, where Greedo shot first and then Han shot, of course. Onto the verdict. Yeah. Overall, this I think a pretty good set for its time. Like, get both vehicle and playset, and also neat creature to do back, of course. But although some of it doesn't much hold up to today, well, until with the 2014 version, unless if you have that, then at least that you can sell for that. But although I think the Sand Spear does make a good parts pack of Sand Red, even though it's not, since it's not common at all. But also, so first time of ever having Greedo for that. So it was some new and different to add to the Star Wars collection at the time, of course. And so if you like still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, then I'd say truly go ahead and get it, like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.